New York, New York. This is the one musical film from Scorsese and I guess I like it. Here's the thing about this movie. I feel like I have to be in love with New York or be a part of New York culture or just live in it because I just don't really care about New York. Not to sound disrespectful. I just don't care about any state or city at all. Sure, there are some places that are really nice, really cool, but I could really care less about one city or whatever. And I feel like this movie is homage like New York, which makes sense because Scorsese did grow up in New York. So it makes sense from that standpoint. But you know, I just don't really care about it. Look how not good, but fabulous or how cool New York is. Now that doesn't make this a bad film. I just don't care about, again, New York. It is still a musical and I did not know any of the songs whatsoever. The only song that I knew is New York from Frank Sinatra. Aside from that, did not know a lot of saxophones and whatnot. However, the best part about this movie is Robert De Niro. The way that he acts, it seems like he's having so much fun just being this guy who is a great saxophone player, plays in his band or whatever, alongside his partner, Francine, who he decides to hit on at first. Won't lie though, when he started hitting on her on the first time, I was like, you should probably stop. I mean, she says no, and then he continues to go after her and after her. There's a shot of him going away, and he just comes back down being like, hey, what up? And I was like, oh, I mean, you should probably go away. If a girl says no, she means no, just go away. But he's just super persistent and just coming in until he goes away. And it's evident that she's very lonely. He sees that. He's like, okay, whatever. And then they eventually meet again and have a bond and whatnot. It goes very fast as well. I don't know the exact timeline of the movie, but it seems like right after they meet, after a couple of sessions of playing together and whatnot, he wants to marry her. It's like, whoa, this is really, really fast. Both of them are the main characters. So this is a musical, sure, but it's also a drama between wanting your dreams, wanting to play in front of this musical or whatever. Life gets in the way. Sometimes you have a kid, your selfish needs of having this dream or whatever, they have to be put on stop because you now have responsibilities and that's what happens. However, De Niro's like, no, he can't stop. He needs to do this. He's making a lot of money. He's being well known. He's worked hard for this and he's not ready to be a father. So he just leaves her. And so for him, he just kind of moved on, forgot about Francine in a way and this kid while Francine had to stop, put her dreams on stop, on hold and have this kid. And usually that kind of stops that person's progression of stardom and making money, being a draw for people to come in to the club and see her sing and whatnot. But it's not. Eventually, she starts back up, sings a New York, New York song, and she gets her stardom again. Even at the end, De Niro's like, hey, you want to go out again? Kind of rekindling their whole thing. But then I don't think she wants to, or she does. But then the movie ends with De Niro walking off and through the streets of New York, ending the movie. So there's a part of this movie that's like, hey, it's New York. It's cool, right? And it is cool, but I don't care about it. But then there's this part of like the characters where there's these two people that have these dreams, have these aspirations. They want to be big, but sometimes life gets in the way and they have to choose whether to be selfish or responsible. They never chose to be selfish. Well, Francine was like, I'll be responsible, you know, stop my fuel of stardom for a while, but then work back up and she was successful again. So that part of the story and movie, I really like. I just wish it was more of that, if that makes sense. Not just like shots of New York and New York songs that I, I just don't went over my head really, to be honest. I was like, I don't, okay, New York, sure. So I guess in the end, New York, New York, it's a good movie. It's a well-made movie, but for me, I don't know. I think there's more good than bad or not bad but just kind of I don't care about these things like New York or whatever. Yeah I guess I liked it in the end. I liked it. So that's it for me. This has been The Road So Far and thank you for watching.